welcome back to my channel. Today I have part two of my Disney bag collection for you. Um, Apologise for the way that I look today but literally I've been trying to get my kids to sleep and they were just refusing to sleep so I've just quickly jumped on now while they're quiet. They're both having a snack and watching the telly so if you can hear telly in the background I apologise. It's the only way to keep them quiet. So let's get on with this, get this done as quickly as possible so I can get back to them. Okay, so I'm going to start with the most expensive bag in my collection and it is this Alice in Wonderland Calf Kids and Bag. Now I got this, oops, what's that? I got this as a birthday gift off my husband uh, I think two years ago, the year my daughter was born. Um, that's why he got me this because we called her Alice and it's obviously Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, this was a birthday present off my husband and it is the most expensive present he's ever bought me. I believe this was around 50 to 60 pounds when it was new. I'm not sure how much he's worth now. I know that the collection is no longer available at Cath Kidson. So I think if you wanted it, you'd have to get it off eBay or something. But I absolutely love this bag. And I was really looking forward to this year going out and using this in spring summer. But obviously with what's going on, we're not allowed out. So I don't think it's going to get used this year, unfortunately. But it is a beautiful bag, so as you can see, it's got Alice in um, a bed of daisies. Is it daisies? Are they called daisies? I think they are. And then it's got the bread and butterflies up there. And then there's no zip on this bag, which is the only thing I don't like. I don't really like bags without zips. Um, it's a bit dirty inside because it's got a little really dusty in my bedroom. But it's got an inside pocket with that pattern on which is beautiful but yeah absolutely adore this bag so yeah this bag is quite special to me because obviously I got it the year my daughter was born and she was called Alice so this is probably my most favourite bag in my collection and I just really really like this one okay my next bag in my collection is this one this is another uh, Cath Kidson bag it's the 101 Dalmatian bag this is just like a little shopper bag although I think these are quite expensive I can't remember I bought this off eBay so I got it for about £20 uh, but I think they might have been about £30 on the route I'm not sure um, but yeah I paid 20 which I don't think was too bad uh, apparently you can turn it inside out it's got just got spots on the inside but I wouldn't bother it's much cuter it's much cuter this way around again there's no zip on this bag it's just an open bag with like press studs to close it and it's got one pocket on the front zip pocket on the front here and the little inside and then it's got a non zip pocket behind it so yeah, I really, really like this bag. I think it's super, super cute. This is probably my second favourite bag. Although I don't use it very much because there's no zip, but I do really like that one. So my third bag in my collection, I'm going to show you, is this one. So yeah, I got this bag from Disney World. I think I got this when I went in 2013 with my family. Well, I actually did I buy this on the honeymoon. I can't remember. I'm not actually sure when I bought this now. I think it was on my 2013 trip. Pretty sure it was. And yeah, it's just a cute little bag. It's sort of like, I'd say, like comic -y, strippy sort of. But yeah, it's, I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, I also got the matching purse to go with it as well. Just matching purse. And yeah I've sort of gone off this bag a bit now it's not really my style anymore um, back when I bought it it was but yeah I don't it doesn't really go with any of my clothes or anything now so I don't really use it very much um, maybe if I was wearing jeans and a t-shirt it'll go nice but yeah it doesn't really go with most of my clothes so I've not really used this in quite a while maybe I might sell it I don't know it's in pretty good condition because I've not really used it very much so it just has two little pockets on the front and just have one of those twist fasteners and yeah does it have any pockets inside it has one zip pocket inside as well so yeah um i don't think when i bought this in disney world i don't think i actually used it while i was there i think i kept it till i got home 
Um, but I should have really used it whilst I was there, but maybe it was a bit too small. Um, but yeah, it's got quite a few characters on it. It's got Donald and Daisy, Mickey and Minnie, Goofy, Bambi and Thumper. It's got Figaro. It's got Dumbo, Tinkerbell, Steamboat Willie. It's got Little Mermaid. Has it got anything else on? I think that's all of them. It's got like Mickey as Sorcerer Mickey. So it's got lots of really nice characters on. So I'll give you a closer look at it. There you go. You can see all the characters on there. There we go. And then that is the matching purse as well. Okay, so now to my fourth bag, which is this Snow White bag. And this, I must say, is the bag that I use the most. I tend to use this quite a lot like when I go out shopping because it's got a zip on it. So this is the bag I use the most. It's quite large as well, so you can get quite a lot in it. And um, This one came from the Disney store. And I believe I got it in the sale. I think I paid like £11 for it, something like that. But yeah, I really like this one. Uh, originally, I got it to go with my Snow White jumper, so I used to wear this. I used to use this bag when I wore my snow white jumper, but now I just I use it all the time when I go out. So it's just a simple bag. It's just got one zip pocket inside. Oh, I've just found, just found a missing dummy in there. Yeah. So yeah, I really like this one. So it's just got snow white by an apple tree. And I also really love the artwork on this as well. So yeah, this one is pretty grubby, well it's not too bad, it's got a few stains on it but it's because I use it the most and also I've got two toddlers who get their grubby little hands on it so it's got a little bit dirty but I still really really love this one. So my next bag I got from Primark and it is this one, I'm not sure how much I paid for it, I think I might have got it in the sale, I think I might have paid around £6 something like that for it, I think it might have been around 10 to 12 originally not sure but yeah it looks like this and it's got a little mickey thumbs up on the zip yeah so it's just a small little bag and i bought this for going to disneyland paris i thought it'd be a nice little bag for going out in the evening to a restaurant with i just put my phone and purse in there wouldn't need anything else and yeah that's what i use it for i use it for when we went out for meals in the evenings uh, it's got this long strap so you just put it over your shoulder and yeah it was really nice uh, this one is like new, I think I only used it once when we went out for a meal or maybe twice so it practically looks brand new. And yeah so it's just this lovely rose gold colour, it's got a black strap, the chain on it is rose gold and the uh, zip pull is rose gold, the actual zip is black. And yeah I just thought it was a really nice little bag for going out in the evenings. So the next bag is what I've used for my park bag in Disney World and Disneyland Paris. I think I used it in Disney World. I'm pretty sure I did. I could be wrong though, but I definitely used it in Disneyland Paris and it's just this simple Mickey backpack from Primark. I believe this was about £12. Um, I've put my pins on here so I can keep my pins on here. The only problem is they fall, sometimes they fall off. So yeah, I actually lost one of my pins on here so I think maybe next time I wouldn't keep my pins on it because I don't want to lose them. But yeah, this is made a really good park bag. It's just the right size. Just enough room for my bottle, water, camera, purse and stuff. I'm sorry if you can hear a load of noise. My daughter is refusing to go in the other room and she's just in front of me playing with her toys. So I apologise for any noise. Yeah, so it made a really good park bag. It's a perfect size. I think it's a bag a lot of people tend to use. I know Primark has now brought a lot of different variations out of this bag, we do glitter ones, do all sorts, so I think this was the first one. And yeah, it just came in really handy as a park bag. I haven't really used it as a bag, not in Disney, I've only ever used this in Disney. Okay, so the next bag I got from Disney World and it's just a big backpack. Um, we bought this because my husband needed a park bag, he didn't take one with him. Uh, he'd never been to Disney, a Disney park before and he didn't really know what to expect so when we got there he decided to buy this backpack to keep all his stuff in which was really handy. I think it was on one of the offers, you know when you spend so much you get certain items cheap. I think it was that was one of these. I think he may have paid like $10 or something for it. I can't quite remember but I don't think it was too much money. 
so yeah it's just a simple backpack it's got a little pocket on the front it's got a little bit here where you can keep your water bottle a little mesh bit and yeah it's just one big pocket inside pocket inside but yeah it came in really handy while I was there as his park bag um, since we've been back from the parks we've been using this as a swim bag or with Alice swimming but yeah that's what we use it for I've not used it for quite a long time because we've not been swimming or anything Alice but when we go back swimming this will be our swim bag okay so the final bag in this video isn't actually my bag it's one of my daughter's bags it's this little mini mouse and peach bag <laughs> yeah she says my bag um bought this from primark it was reduced just down to just three pounds so we thought we'd get it for alice before we take it to the beach so we to the beach once and she ended up not using it but we just thought it's a really cute bag so it's not actually been used properly yet we were planning on using it this year because we we're going to go on alice's first holiday but unfortunately it got cancelled obviously because of what's going on at the moment but i thought for three pound that's a really good little bag from primark so yeah that is the final bag in this video so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because I have my toddlers running around my feet all the time you can probably hear them chatting away so I hope it's been enjoyable and um, hopefully <laughs> yeah I hope it's been enjoyable I hope you've enjoyed seeing my bags uh, my next uh, video in my bags collection is going to be my canvas bags I have quite a lot of canvas bags I used to make um, cushions out of them all but I also used to buy one to keep as a bag as well so I've got a lot of canvas bags um, so I'll be doing that video next also have like the shopping bags but I might combine that into one and I've also got all my makeup bags so I've probably got another three bag videos to come so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this one if you have please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon bye do you want to say bye Alice here you come say bye. bye you want to come say bye <laughs> here she is this is the one that's been making all the noise look at her face she's been having her lunch so you're gonna say bye to everyone alice say bye